welcome to Ishwari Taniksha channel. This is your Ishwari ma'am. Students in this video we are going to learn trick to solve limiting reagent problems. So students first let us understand what is the meaning of limiting reagent. So you know that students in a reaction rea uh, reactants will be there. There can be one reactant or there can be many reactants. So uh, for example A giving B. So uh, next example is A plus B giving C. We have taken two reactions. So in this reaction there is only one reactant. In this reaction there are two reactants. So limiting reagent will be present only in a reaction where there are two or more reactants. In this there is no limiting reagent because only one reactant is there and it will be converted into product. So in this there is no limiting reagent. So in a reaction if two or more reactants are present only then we can find limiting reagent. So that you should remember. So now let us see what is the meaning of limiting reagent. The reactant which is completely consumed in a reaction is called as limiting reagent. So I said that limiting reagent can be found only in a reaction where there is two or more reactant. So consider for example in this reaction two reactants are there. So after the reaction if one of the reactant is completely consumed means it is completely uh, converted into product then that reactant we call it as limiting reagent. So the reactant which is completely consumed in a reaction is called as limiting reagent. So this short form we will write it as LR limiting reagent. And the reactant which is left out is called as excess reagent. So after the reaction if you see this will be left out. So the reactant which is left out is called as excess reagent. So here B will be excess reagent. So excess reagent we will represent by a short form ER. So now how to find a limiting reagent in a reaction. So how do we find? So first step what you should do is write the number of moles of the reactants. So these are the steps which we are going to uh, use. Next is write their stoichiometric coefficient and third step is divide number of moles by stoichiometric coefficient and fourth is reactant getting minimum uh, N by SC that is number of moles by stoichiometric coefficient is called as limiting reagent. Okay, How to use these steps? We will take one example and we will try to do it. So this is the question now. So what is the question? A plus 2B giving C. Initially 5 moles of A and 20 moles of B are taken. After reaction calculate LR limiting reagent then moles of A, B, C. So now first we have to find out which is LR. Whether A is LR or B is LR that is limiting reagent. So first let me write the reaction again A plus 2B giving C. So this is the reaction which is given. So the first step will be find out the number of moles of the reactants. So N is nothing but number of moles. So here you can see initially 5 moles of A. So 5 moles of A and 20 moles of B. So this is 20 moles of B are taken. So here T is equal to 0 that is at time 0. Uh, number of moles of A is 5, number of moles of B is 20. So that is the first step. See here, write the number of moles of the reactants. What is second step? Second step is write their stoichiometric coefficient. So second step, let us write stoichiometric coefficient. So how to write the stoichiometric coefficient is, this is the reactant. The number beside that is called as stoichiometric coefficient. So stoichiometric coefficient is 
so here if there is no number we have to take it as 1 and here stoichiometric coefficient is 2 this is the second step and what is third step divide number of moles by stoichiometric coefficient so next step will be number of moles by stoichiometric coefficient that is 5 by 1 and here it is 20 by 2 so what is next step reactant getting minimum n by sc is called as lr so meaning is after dividing the smallest value will be the lr so divide this so you will be getting here 5 and here you will be getting 2 1s are 2 tens are 20 so here you will be getting 10 so which is the smallest value here the smallest value will be 5 so a will be the limiting reagent so here i'll write lr a is limiting reagent then the other reactant is b so b is called as excess reagent er so now we found out the first step that is limiting reagent next is find the number of moles of a b and c so now let us find out number of moles of a b and c so number of moles of a so what will be the number of moles of a so students if a is the limiting reagent you know that it will be con completely consumed during the reaction so at the end of the reaction the number of moles of A will be usually 0. So remember for all the limiting reagent, the number of moles of uh, A at the end of the reaction will be 0. Why? Because it is completely consumed. Means it is completely converted into product. Next is number of moles of B. Number of moles of B. So number of moles of B, how do we find out is? We have mole-mole analysis for that. So, how do we do that? Mole, mole analysis. So, in mole, mole analysis, what we do is, so write the ratio of number of moles by stoichiometric coefficient of A. That is, number of moles of A divided by stoichiometric coefficient of A. So, stoichiometric coefficient of A is 1 is equal to number of moles of B divided by stoichiometric coefficient of B. Stoichiometric coefficient of B is 2. So, divided by 2. So, substitute the values now. What is the number of moles of A? Number of moles of A is 5. So, 5 divided by 1 is equal to NB divided by 2. So, how much you will be getting? 5 twos are 10. 10 moles. So, what is this 10 moles? This is nothing but consumed NB. So, number of moles of NB consumed. What we have found is, see initially 20 moles of B are taken. So, what we have found is amount of NB consumed. That is number of moles of B consumed during the reaction. Then how many will be remaining after end of the reaction? So, N number of moles of B remaining after reaction. Remaining will be equal to total minus consumed. Total is 20 moles. 20 moles minus consumed is 10. So, this will be equal to 10 moles. So, 10 moles will be remaining after the reaction. So, we found out the number of moles of A, B. So, now let us find out the number of moles of C. So, we will do again mole mole analysis. Number of moles of A divided by stoichiometric coefficient of A is 1. This is equal to number of moles of C divided by stoichiometric coefficient of C is 1. So, now substitute number of moles of A is 5. So, 5 by 1 is equal to NC by 1. So, how much you will be getting? Number of moles of C is nothing but 5. So, this is number of moles of C. So, we have solved, we have found what is the 
limiting reagent that is a is the limiting reagent then second is find the number of moles of a b c so we have found number of moles of a then number of moles of b and then number of moles of c so this is how we find limiting reagent and the number of moles of reactants and products so students let us solve one more question so in this question so first we'll read out the question what is given a plus b giving a to b3 initially 6 moles of a and 20 moles so 6 moles of a and 20 moles of b are taken after the reaction calculate lr then moles of a b a2 b3 so the first step will be to write the balanced equation so here a plus b giving a2 b3 so balance the reaction a2 so 2a b3 so 3b so this is the balanced equation so now at time t is equal to 0 number of moles of a is given as 6 moles so number of moles of a is 6 number of moles of b is 20 and then stoichiometric coefficient so stoichiometric coefficient for a is 2 for b is 3 so next will be take the ratio number of moles by stoichiometric coefficient so the ratio will be 6 by 2 and here it is 20 by 3 so divide this 2 ones are 2 threes are so here you are getting 3 and here 3 sixes are 18 so you are getting 6 point uh, 3 sixes are 18 so you are getting in decimal so which is the smallest value in this the smallest value will be this 3 out of this two values therefore a will be the limiting reagent and b will be the excess reagent so now first step we have found limiting reagent so limiting reagent is a so second step is number of moles of a b a2 b3 so we'll find out now so first number of moles of a so what is the number of moles of a so number of moles of a is 0 why because limiting reagent will be fully consumed during the reaction therefore at the end of the reaction it will be fully uh, converted into product so therefore the number of moles of lr will be 0 second is number of moles of b so for this we have to do mole mole analysis so we'll do mole mole analysis now so in mole mole analysis we are going to find out nb that is number of moles of b first we'll be getting consumed moles how much is consumed during the reaction so this is nothing but take the ratio that is number of moles of a divided by stoichiometric coefficient of a which is nothing but 2 2 is equal to number of moles of b divided by stoichiometric coefficient of b is 3 3 so substitute the values now so n a number of moles of a is 6 so 6 divided by 2 is equal to n b divided by 3 so now 2 ones are 2 2 threes are 6 therefore n b that is number of moles of b will be 3 3 is a 9 so 9 moles are consumed during the reaction so see here totally 20 moles 20 moles are taken initially out of that 9 moles are consumed then how much will be remaining so number of moles of b remaining so remaining will be equal to total which is 20 minus consumed consumed is 9 so 20 minus 9 which will be 11 moles so 11 moles will be remaining at the end of the reaction so this is for b so next we have to calculate for a to b3 so we'll do it here so 
so number of moles of a divided by stoichiometric coefficient students always uh, remember that lr we are comparing so here we are going we have to find out the number of moles of the product this is what we need to find out now number of moles of the product so to for that always compare with that of the limiting reagent not with that of the excess reagent so we are going to compare this this one so number of moles of a divided by stoichiometric coefficient of a is 2 is equal to number of moles of a2 b3 divided by stoichiometric coefficient is 1 so substitute n a so number of moles of a is 6 so 6 divided by 2 is equal to n a2 b3 so 2 ones are 2 3s are 6 so number of moles of a2 b3 will be equal to 3 moles so this is the answer so we have found in this question what is lr and also we have found number of moles of the reactant as well as the product so students uh, whether the concept is clear to you still if you have any doubts you can write in the comment box do share the videos with your friends and also subscribe the channel i'll meet you in the next video students bye bye